Oh, I'm exhausted. Oh, I'm exhausted. I need water. <gasps> You've got water. Uh, <laughs> well, that was too no, long a no. run. Oh, no shit. Oh. Baptize me in your water. Oh, no, like. <laughs> Jones! I'm not oh. sharing the water with you. It's, it's, it's fine. <sighs> But we've just run. Anyway, oh. three meters. Hi. 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 It's so good to have you with us today for the starting line, where these two are clearly exhausted from that very short run that we just did. <laughs> so today we're asking the question, a really interesting question. What is baptism? Oh, yeah. What is that all about? You know, baptism, yeah. confirmation, christening, all oh, those kind of things. What is that all about? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and so obviously, we are going to have some fun while we have a little think about this question and think about water and what's that got to do with it all. Water. We'll have some challenges and a good time. So let's do it. Warm up. Okay, to warm up today, we are going to play Hetty Says. Oh, it's not going to be energetic, is it? Oh, it's going to be very energetic. <laughs> oh, I'm going to tell you to line. do stuff and you're going to do it, basically. Oh, no. okay. So if I hey. say Hetty Says, run on the spot, you oh, run on the spot. Okay. Yeah. 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 So Hetty Says, run on the spot. Run on the spot. <laughs> but if I give you an action, but I don't say Hetty Says, so yeah. let's say I say, do some squats. No. You don't no. do it because Hetty no. didn't say so. Didn't. You only do it when Hetty says it. Okay. Okay. Do you want to give it a go? Yeah. yeah. Do you want to give it a go? Yeah. They, they definitely do. Okay. Hetty says we're on the spot. Okay. Nice and easy. It's easy for you to say. <laughs> do star jumps. Nope. Oh. No, I didn't oh. say. Oh, no. Which means carry no. on with the action. Keep, carry on with the going. action. Hetty says spin around once. Ooh. Oh. Hetty says do squats. Yeah. Play tennis. Oh, oh Hetty didn't say oh, play tennis. Keep squatting. Okay. Hetty says pretend to head a ball. Oh. <laughs> Hetty says play basketball. Oh. Basket. Oh, that one. Yeah. That one. Do star jumps. Nope. Hetty oh, didn't oh, say. Hetty no, says do mountain climbers like this. Oh, okay. Very steep mountain. Hetty says, hold a squat. Oh, hold it. Oh. Oh. Hetty says, keep holding a squat. Oh, that's oh. nasty. Why would you oh. do that? Oh, Hetty legs. says, keep holding your squat. Oh, this is punishment, this. <laughs> what did we do wrong? I was about to say, what have we done wrong? <laughs> Run on the spot. No. Hetty didn't say oh. run on the spot. Hold it again. Hetty oh. says, march. Oh, march. March. Oh. Well done, well done. You nearly got it. Not too bad. I wonder how you did, but hopefully either way you have moved around and warmed yeah. yourself up. So let's give you and these guys a big round of applause. <laughs> Rep's whistle. So here is your first ref's whistle question. What? is water used for in general but also in sport when exercising so have a discussion with the people around you So the question is, what is water used for yeah. in general, but also in sport when exercising? Um, Go on, taps. Well, if you were swimming yes. in a lake, maybe. Of the course, lake is yes. Made of water. Um, or, and when you're finished and you need to warm up, you, you have a nice drip, drop of coffee. Yes, yeah. you do. Yeah. Um, I very like cold coffee. for me in legs. Yeah. Yeah. It's very bright. Yeah. Um, yeah, so coffee. 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 Yeah. <laughs> 
Water is used for coffee. I, I like okay. to sparkle my water. Yeah. Is it because you're sparkling? Yeah, something like that. Um, like, you know when you're really hot and sweaty? Yeah. And you're like, pour water over yourself to yeah. get all the sweat away. And, yeah. Ooh, you don't nice sweat, and cold. Oh, you, no. You glow. You glow. <laughs> yes, that's the one. That's the one. There's lots of things you can use water for. I know. And I'm going to get into that a little bit more. Coach's Tactics. Water is used for so many different things in sport. It keeps you hydrated, meaning helping you with your body temperature, cooling you down. It transports all different nutrients that you need around your body to keep you going. Water reduces uh, muscle tiredness and reduces the risk of injury. And if you're not drinking enough water, then you can't perform at your highest standard. So that's just water in sport. But what about water in general? Well, we need it to keep us alive. And it also helps us keep us clean, like having a bath or a shower, cleaning our teeth, then we'll use it for cleaning the dishes and cleaning our clothes. There is a general theme in these examples, making something clean, but we'll come back to that later. Today, we're going to be looking at baptism and confirmation. Now, you may not have heard of these words before, so I'll run through them for you. Baptism and confirmations are seen as special Christian services and special moments in people's lives. Baptism. Well, now there are two ways in which people can be baptized. When you're a baby or when the person is old enough to make their own decision to get baptized. When someone is baptized as a baby, it's sometimes called a christening. And during the servants, their parents and godparents, these are the people that the parents have chosen who will support the child in their faith, will make promises of being there for the child, to pray for the child, showing them practically how to make good choices in their lives and helping them to learn more about the Christian faith. The leader of the church will pour a trickle of water on the baby's head. Sometimes they cry. Where they will normally say, I baptize you in the name of the Father, meaning God. Baptize you in the name of the Son, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. Christians believe that this is a sign of a new beginning and becoming a part of God's family. When someone is baptised when they are older and can make their own decision to do so, like I did when I was 14, they are making the promises for themselves to pray, read the Bible and look towards other Christians to learn more about the Christian faith and see how to live a life where they can make good choices. Again, the leader of the church will baptise them and this can be done the way it is for a baby with a trickle of water on their head or by being fully immersed into water. Again, this is a sign of a new beginning and becoming a part of God's family. Confirmation is normally for people that have been baptised as a baby but want to make the decision to say the promises that their parents and godparents said on their behalf and make them their own promises. For some churches, confirmation means that you're able to take communion after. Now, that's a lot of information to take in, but we'll go into the significance of all of it a little bit later on. V-A-R I was baptised when I was seven years old. A few weeks earlier, someone prayed for me that I would know God more. 
Then I felt that God was near and that he loved me so much. I had always known that God was real, but I had never felt him quite so close. It was as if a light had just been switched on in a dark room. I burst into tears of joy. It was the most incredible feeling ever. I had no doubt in my mind that God existed, and I wanted to show kids that just like adults, they can love and know God too. That is why I got baptised. Halftime Challenge Your halftime challenge is a dance challenge. Okay, there's a lot of choices in this one. I would like you to choose five different dance moves. They don't need to be anything with a lot of skill, just something fun, you know, this kind of thing, or some sort of jumping, anything that you can think of that moves your body in a way that you're having fun. Then, practice your five moves, one after each other, and then repeat it over and over again at least five times. And then you've got yourself a dance routine. So then you will put your favorite song on and try your whole routine and make sure you have fun. You could even show it to whoever is around you or make them join in with you too. Have fun. Ref's whistle. Okay, here is your second ref's whistle question. Why do you think water is important in the Christian faith? Okay, so why do you think water is important in the Christian faith? So have a discussion with the people around you. Coaches Tactics. Jesus is an amazing prime example of both being dedicated into God's family when he was a baby, a teenager, and an adult. When he was a baby, his parents took Jesus to the temple to be dedicated to the Lord. When he was a teenager, he went to Jerusalem for the first time to celebrate the Passover. And this would have been such a special moment where he was able to go to the festival. When he was an adult, he got baptized by his cousin in a river. And in the Bible, in the book called Matthew, chapter three, verses 16 to 17, this is what it says. After his baptism, as Jesus came up out of the water, the heavens opened and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and settling on him. And a voice from heaven said, This is my dearly loved Son, who brings me great joy. After Jesus was baptised, he shortly began teaching and doing miracles. Each of these times that Jesus' parents or Jesus decided to make this public declaration and make those promises, they were expressing that it was a sign of a new beginning and that he is part of God's family putting God as number one in his life. Now, my dad is a West Ham football supporter and also a church leader. So he has done many baby baptisms and many full immersion baptisms. When we lived in Liverpool, most people supported either Liverpool FC or Everton FC. 
So when my dad did full immersion baptisms, he would say to the people getting baptised that they could wear their football shirt if he could wear his. But he would say to them that they would go down a red or a blue into the water and they would come up a West Ham supporter. And he would continue to say that actually this isn't true as no one changes their team. But following Jesus is an even bigger change of allegiance, change of support and loyalty, change of who is number one in their lives. Christians believe that we've all messed up, but with Jesus dying on the cross, we can have a relationship with him. We believe that baptism is a symbol that we are being washed clean from all the things that we have done, said and thought that God would see as our mess ups. We go down into the water with all our old ways and come back up clean, saying that we want to go God's way. Christians believe that confirmation and baptism is a public way of saying that they are going to follow Jesus, that they will learn more about who he is, become more like him in the way that they think, act and say, and that he is number one in their lives. So let's think of the promises either parents and godparents or yourself make for baptism and confirmation. We'll have a chance to wait on the Holy Spirit to speak to us. See whether God wants to talk to us about these promises, challenge us on something and encourage us. This is much of a prayer from me as it is for you. So let's chat to God. God, I thank you that when we say yes to following you, that we can have a relationship with you, meaning that we can chat to you. God, I ask that you help us learn more about who Jesus is. I ask that you help us make good choices in our lives. And that you help us decide whether we put Jesus as number one in our lives. Help us to understand who Jesus is and what he has done for us. Amen. Now, if you've got some thoughts or questions, why don't you talk to a trusted adult about them? so you can learn together. You may think that you want to make these promises for yourself. Then talk again to a trusted adult who may be able to speak to a church leader. It has been great having you with us in this session where we have been looking at a lot of things. But I want you to continue thinking about the promises that are made in baptism and confirmation. And we look forward to seeing you in our next session in the starting line. And we look forward to seeing you then. Bye.